Even though their plant's empty, striking auto workers in Lordstown aren't giving up. Close to 100 gathered outside the plant gates this morning wearing union t-shirts and carrying picket signs after members spread word of the rally on social media. They wanted to support each other but also thank the community for its help, such as dropping off food and drink to those on the line. It just shows how, how people care. I mean, it's, 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 it's just a feeling, I guess it's hard to describe, but it, 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 it settles well with you. Over the last several months, there have been plenty of stories of workers leaving their families behind to take jobs at other GM plants. Shelley Cooper transferred here from Columbus and has already turned down a move to Bowling Green, Kentucky, thinking now of going back to college. I'm in limbo right now, and it, it's, a, it's every day, every few days I'm okay, and the next day I think I made a huge mistake by not going to, to Kentucky, but my family would have had to stay in Columbus. In the meantime, union leaders are still waiting for details to back up reports of GM bringing a battery plant here, especially if that means a lower wage tier for workers. 15-hour jobs, uh, you can't have a normal middle-class lifestyle, right? You have to work like two, three jobs, you know, to make up to what an auto worker would make. For now, they continue waiting for word a new contract will mean a new product here. Until we're told that this plant doesn't have hope, we're still hopeful. In Lordstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.